Hey guys, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Legends video. So we're following up on the quote-unquote rant video that I did the other day, and we're going to talk about SS4 Gogeta. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Be sure to chime in down below in the comments. Let me know, let me know what you guys think about some of the things that we mentioned in today's video, or if you had a comment that maybe I missed from the previous video, feel free to post it here, and I'll either reply or read it. Uh, that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. Today's video like goal is 850. If you guys agree, be sure to hit that thumbs up. So I want to also say at the very beginning, huge shout out to everybody that understood the last video wasn't coming from a place of anger whatsoever, right? I think typically when you see like rant or you hear like, you know, people getting loud or whatever, it's typically just, oh, they're mad about something or things like that. And then there is also a segment of people that won't even, you know, give you a chance with what you're trying to say. That's why I opened that video saying, hey, be sure to listen to what I got to say. Um... But it was more so from passion. As somebody that's played the game since literally day one, I enjoy this game. I love this game. This game is successful monetarily. That is not a that's not a debatable thing. This game has been a huge success, and it will probably run for several more years. Right? Um, again, not really debatable. It's been successful. We we have the numbers. But I do think that some of the practices that they have are not great. I mean. To be fair, some of the practices are just general gotcha practices. You know, it is what it is. We're playing a gotcha game at the end of the day. But I don't think some of the practices are great. But I also wish that some things that they've done, they did sooner. Or the ideas that they had, maybe they tweaked it before they had to do all these different things. Like the way they've revamped Zenkai like three or four times throughout its lifespan, etc. I wish they would have had the foresight, right? And hindsight is twenty twenty. I understand that. But I wish that they would have thought these things through better. Um, so we're talking about Gogeta here, who is... Probably, and this is a bit extreme, but bear with me, probably the biggest black mark on an anniversary character ever released on Legends. And, yeah, that was on purpose, by the way. <laughs> and uh, the thing about it is, is if you weren't around for his prime time, right, when he released two years ago, almost to the day for the third year anniversary, that was a different time. Um, but here's the funny thing. Some of the discourse we have now versus this character and some of the way people were talking about Goku and Frieza over the last week, it's actually basically the same. And that's that on f at first release, it's, oh, this character is amazing. Oh, this character is broken, etc. They're really, really strong. And then as usual, this happens to every character, as usual, if they're not that, that, that talk stops after like a few days, after a week, as people start playing with and against that character, etc. This guy is staring into our souls. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> um, As people start playing with and against that character The discourse changes It's like ah the character's alright but here's XYZ reasons why they're flawed And remember I did a video Like a week ago And I was like uh, are Goku and Frieza are underwhelming And I asked you guys and I asked all your questions And I read your responses and live in the video A lot of people said yes a lot of people said no And here we are Here we are they're getting a buff why? Well, here's the reason why any character ever gets buffed in this game. They look at the entire landscape of characters in the game, right? And they're tracking metrics for each one. And not just, like, having them or how much you own them. Yeah, that's a thing, too. How many stars you got on them, all those fancy metrics. But they're also looking at player character usage. And they don't really care about heroes, right, or things like that. They're not gonna, they're not worried about that. Especially the, what they're mainly looking for is how much each character is getting used. And I'm sure they have filters for each demographic of ranks as well. Like, if you're within this rank uh, and stuff like that. Maybe how old your account is, things of that nature. Different demographics and ways that can filter it out. But it basically boils down to for Zenkai's platinum equips and things like that. Yeah, it boils down to the meta and the characters that are applied to certain teams. That's a factor too. But they're looking at player data and character data. And the simple reality is, is that Goku and Frieza were not performing up to par. Now, this is a two-folded thing. Because part of the reason they weren't performing up to par is because of the freaking meta right now being insane with the ultras, right? And this is a problem that they've had basically since okay we can always go back and see the meta shifts and crazy peaks and highs of characters releasing in legends throughout the years there's always been don't misunderstand there have always been a like a small select few characters that have dominated this game and we're just we're living the flavor of it now this time in 2023 we're living the ultra flavor of it but there's always been it doesn't matter who it is whether it's some sparkings like remember holy trinity how they just dominated the game that was like the only team you could run remember the couple of times regen did that you remember like green bardock if you were playing back then I mean, green piccolo was really really strong purple vegeta so on and so forth there's always been it's just the scale enhances as we get further in because power creep as a whole is different side tangent but so it's a two-folded issue with them and their, their, their fact that they have to compete against the Ultras right now. But the funny thing is, like I said, this all tracks back to the third anniversary where 
the discourse was that this guy was good then it was immediately that he wasn't my main issue with this guy is that he had all this fun stuff all this neutrality draw speed he had cover he has he had like everything you'd want it just felt like he didn't do any damage. Like, <laughs> it just, it genuinely just felt like he didn't do a dam any damage at all, dude. So they didn't give him that special treatment. And if you're confused about what I'm talking about, we're gonna go back to my tablet here. Um, again, if you didn't see my rant video, this, I'm not really like mad, but I guess it has a negative connotation. Anyway, they are giving Goku and Frieza a one-time balance change yes a balance change not a zenkai or an equip they actually went out of their way not to do one of those things now it would be kind of weird if they gave them one of those things immediately after release so i kind of understand that that thought part of the thought process but what this does is it means that goku and frieza are going to be one of the best lfs in the game for an extremely long time because when they start to fall off they can then give them a zenkai or a plat as opposed to a character like ultra not ultra but um transforming Saiyan, Super Saiyan 1 Goku, you know, that, that LF one with the angry Kamehameha, where it's like, he's got both of those things, you know? <laughs> he's kind of stuck until they either balance change him or do Zenkai 2 or give him another platinum equip, I guess, but he's kind of stuck, right? Um, and he'll just basically be what he is for forever otherwise. But again, that's the lifespan of characters in a gacha game. It's not surprising. But this character is going to have increased viability, and they specifically note out here that this is a one-time occurrence, okay? They, they are not going to go ahead and change Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, unless he's getting a Zenkai, for example. That whoever Part 2 is, I'd imagine if Orange Piccolo is for Part 2, for example, I imagine he comes out and he's up to par. If he's not up to par, I don't think they'll do this again. I, don't, I genuinely don't, for the record. Um, anyway, and don't get it confused. They say down here at the bottom, they're going to change some stuff with uh, future LF characters. That has nothing to do with this full-on rework of effects and stuff. They basically gave this character a Zenkai without actually a Zenkai right um that has nothing to do with this again this is a one-time thing they are not going out of their way to do this for other characters unless they have to do it i guess so my thing is where was this for gogeta <laughs> gogeta is the exact same thing but i if you're wondering like i am where that was if you followed what i said what that means is that despite the fact that the discourse was the same online the community was saying mostly the same things what it means is that Gogeta was actually performing the way they wanted him to. Yeah. Chew on that for a second. If you were playing during the third year anniversary, it's not like he was bad. Goku and Freeze weren't bad either. I think they were still top 10 easy. It's just he wasn't anything like crazy, overwhelmingly special, right? And they didn't have the boost system back then to where they can also make characters look better than they are, right? Anyway, that means Gogeta was performing up to par. <laughs> either that or they didn't know how to solve the issue, which I don't know what changed. I mean, two years is a long time, but I mean, they could have done a balance change then. It's not anything different, right? But here's the way that they did try to remedy the issue, but there's two issues with it. First and foremost is it's an equip. So this equip was particularly interesting because this was our first equip of this ilk. After this equip released, we've now since got all the equips that have come out for, I believe all of them anyway, for uh, maybe like one or two like SS4 Gokus, I don't think is anything like, like this so slot three. But for the most part, all the LF equips are mega buffed now. I remember like, yeah, I, I think the video is up here. Yeah, I was like, I titled the video LF Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Zenkai, or Platinum basically gives him a Zenkai awakening. Like, this was crazy, right? This is unprecedented and we've been getting them ever since because there's always a first for everything, right? Um, which leads me to believe that there may be a second, a third, a fourth. They say that they're not going to, but there may be a second, third, or fourth of balance changes. We can, we can only hope so. Um, anyway, we get this instead. But the issue with this is that it's an equip, for one, as opposed to... It's not really remedying his issue. They gave him more damage here, by the way, but only on, on the revive for slot three. They did give him more stats overall, and this did make him better. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it never... This equip wasn't able to really... Be, okay. It was relevant for what it was because there were a few revive characters like frieza and gohan that were still dominant but revive never took off as a whole uh, it was incredibly relevant mechanic it still is to this day but there's never been enough of those characters so <laughs> you've always had a situation where it's like the revive characters are all damn old right all power crap so they're relying on the revive mechanic and you're not using gogeta to disrupt the revive anyway so the funny thing about this otherwise though the second part of this is where's the swift response 
<laughs> they waited until October 18th of 2021. That's like 140 days. Was my math right? Is it 141? I don't know. Um, they waited 140 days for this dude to get a buff. So I wonder what the thought process was between Goku and Frieza's release and then the swift week and a half or so response versus the exact same situation with the anniversary headliner that the community doesn't think is performing up to par taking 140 days. So this is what I talk about and it all comes full circle when I say, okay, well, the game is successful, all these things, right? And But I don't enjoy the process for that. And I'm not advocating that they go back and do anything. Well, because at this point, it would just be a Zenkai. Like, I'm not worried about that. But, like, I, for future reference, I'm not really, I don't, I wouldn't really mind it, but I'm not advocating that they do this for every character. I just want to see consistency. Because we've seen, oh, it's like, okay, well, they're doing this because this super specific scenario. But the problem with the super specific scenario is we saw it already before for another character. So then, like I said, what's the difference? Why did it take 140 days? Now, I think that you can argue that maybe they learned from the Gogeta situation, and that's where the difference comes in. Because you have to understand too, when it comes to what's happening here and what happened versus Gogeta was, like I said, they, he was probably performing as well as they wanted him to or really close to it for a while. Either that or they had to think of a way to respond and it just took a while. But again, they could have gave Goku and Frieza an equip, but chose not to. They could have chose not to give Gogeta an equip. And, but again, there's a lot that goes on in the back end. I want to give them credit for that. But anyway, I think that you can argue evolution took place here with them understanding the process better and knowing what to do better, right? Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> it had something specific I wanted to mention. I lost it. Um, but I guess that means that it's time to wrap the video. Yeah, there was something I really wanted to say. Damn it, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I legit lost it. I lost the chain of thought. Oh, I lost the plot there. <laughs> but, yeah, like I was saying, I'm not really advocating for anything in particular. I just want to know what you guys think about the way that this has been handled. Oh, um, and, if, and if evolution is the case, does this mean that going forward we'll just avoid this situation entirely? Are we going to have the year six character come out and be underwhelming again? Are we going to see whoever release and be underwhelming when they're a headliner for a celebration? Which, by the way, headliner of celebration is like, it's like not specific enough, right? Because we had a celebration, quote unquote, uh, a month ago when they released the Boo tag characters. We had a celebration a few months ago, uh, six months ago, for Legends Festival when they released Vegeta and Trunks. And I didn't see that same treatment for either of those characters. So it's like... <sighs> Oh, oh, I forgot. This is what I remember, what I was going to say. The reason why I think the response is so quick now is they, uh, they're in a position now where the banner's live, right? So they are going out of their way. This is what I was going to say. They're going out of their way to fix this now while people can still summon on this banner and still get this character and still benefit from them, etc., etc., etc. They're going to be up for a while, but they went out of their way to do it as soon as possible. For this reason, I think that with Gogeta, what might have happened was they might have just took too damn long to figure it out. And then it's like, well, OK, he's gone. Uh, he probably won't be back until I don't know that he came back until that time. Right. That's typically what happens when a character comes out. You probably are going to see them again for another three, four months, probably. Right. So he might not even come back until that unique equip release. Right. That was a big update, by the way. That update had a lot of stuff. It was the announcement for like free Zenkai's the video and stuff had all this stuff uh ultra ultra um omega which they say like five times in this video oh he's our la he's we're gonna start doing summonables so don't worry about it hey we haven't had a free one since in, in, in a year and almost two years anyway so i assume that's part of the reason as to why they might have just said you know who cares right but th the real reason why this is happening so swiftly is that this is this is a thing right here this the, the banner's live that's why <laughs> Uh, my question is this again. Why wasn't this treatment doled out in an efficient manner for Gogeta? Like I said, it probably just took them too damn long, right? And we're probably overthinking it. I'm probably overthinking it. But I thought it was worth mentioning because, again, we've seen this exact scenario before, right? And the funny thing about it is that, like, Gogeta, I mentioned that he was a black mark. 
and the reason why I said that specifically, like I said, it was probably a bit extreme, but the, wrong one. <laughs> the reason I said that was because the other anniversaries surrounding him were like mega good. People uh, don't don't remember how strong Super Vegito was for one year. They only attribute Super Saiyan Blue Vegito for the second year as being broken, but Super Saiyan One Vegito for the first year was crazy broken. And then again, we have that situation. I think the circumstance is also a little different for Gogeta specifically as to why he was quote unquote underpowered because of he's on the heels of Vegito, right? Like, so he's in a weird spot too. So that's part of the reason why he wasn't as good. And that's a whole different discussion as to why he wasn't as good. I didn't really go into that at all. Um, it's just kind of weird when for his anniversary specifically, he's the main guy, but like, and you could argue Zamasu is kind of underwhelming too. But then Gohan pops in and is meta shattering, right? For for what, part two? So, all right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Check out the Ram video. It's on screen now.